Hello. Hello. Hi guys, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Hey. I'm terrific. Terrific. Oh, great. <laughs> what a positive attitude. Yes. Carlos Morales, Jackie. Jackie can hear us. Gabriel, who is oh, always in class. Hi. Leo. Leo. Hello. Hola. Hello. Hey. Hello. Are you are you working these days? Um, not much. Mm -hmm. mm. What about you, Gabriel? I I still uh, I work all day. Miguel. Hi. Hi. Are you working these days? Uh, no. You're not. Why? Because of the virus or some uh, another reason? We have we don't have virus now. Still. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. Right. Hi, Sergio. <laughs> Welcome. Nice to see you. Nice to see you again, too. Where do you work, Sergio? You know what? That place where you are looks like it's them. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I understand. I don't understand. No, I'm saying. You speak very speedy. Very fast. Okay. Let me say it a little bit slowly. I said okay. uh, the place where you're at right now looks like it's them. Instituto Salvadoreño de Desarrollo Municipal, something like that. No? It's them. Yeah, no, he didn't get it. It's okay. All right. Uh, let's get started. We're going to work with models. Read the. Um, Gabriel, I don't see you tonight. None of you. Yes. Oh, there you are. There you are. Make, the I, I, I'm smoked now. <laughs> On time. Gabriel Merino, I don't see you. All right. Hi. Let's read the instructions or the, the objective. Uh, go ahead, Miguel Campos. Oh. Sergio, can you read the objective, please? Okay. In this part, participants participant. will be introduced to the use of modal verbs can, call, made for a request, suggestion. Suggestions. 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 Okay, let's watch the video. Everybody pay attention to this. Hello, everyone. This time it will be introduced. Hold on. Let's put the microphone on mute, okay? Hello everyone. This time we will be introduced to the model verbs can, could, may for suggestions and requests. Modal verbs can, could, may for requests. Suggestions. Can I help you? May I help you? Can I have a box of cough drops? Could I have something for a cough? May I have a bottle of aspirin? What do you suggest for dry skin? What do you have for dry skin? Try some of this lotion. I suggest some ointment. You should get some skin cream. In this case, can could and may are being used in question form to suggest or give advice. This is how we use them. Model verb plus subject plus verb have plus complement plus question mark. Can I have eye drops? May I have an ointment? Could I have some aspirins? What I want you to do now is to write a sentence using each modal verb learned. 
Please write them in our discussion box. All verbs. Can, could, may. What do you suggest for dry? Okay, let's read some of the instructions, um, some of the expressions, sorry. Mute your microphone if it's if it's loud, okay? <clears throat> Repeat after me. Say, may I help you? May I help may you? May I help you? Uh-huh. Uh, can I have a box of cough drops? Can I can have, I have, have rock, 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 drop drops? Could I have something for a cough? Could I have something for a cough? For a cough. For a cough. For a cough. cough. What do you suggest for dry skin? What do you suggest have for dry skin? What do you have for dry skin? What do you have for dry skin? For dry skin. Okay. Try some of this lotion. Try some of this lotion. I suggest some ointment. I suggest, I suggest some, some uh, oil. 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 You should oil. get some skin cream. You should, you should get, get some, some skin, skin cream. cream. Skin cream. Yes, very good. Okay, about this part, guys, do you have any questions? Oil man, what's mine? What's the meaning? Unguento. What's the meaning? Unguento. Okay. Yeah, thank you. That's the translation. That's the exact one. What else? Teacher, okay, guys, uh -huh. what is the difference between between Ken May? <laughs> I was about to ask that question. Yeah, guys, what is the difference between Ken, Kur, and May? What's the difference? Ken. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Okay, only whoever is going to participate, unmute the microphone, please, because it's kind of loud. It's noisy. Ah, Gabriel, you have the background noise. What? You have a lot of background noise. A lot of background noise. Uh... Yeah. Thank you. Ah, it was you. All right. So what's the difference between can, could, and uh, what am I typing? Could and may. Uh, all of these are going to be used to ask for requests, okay? Can I, can you, could I, may I? But we're going from, a, let's say that this is a little bit more casual and this is more polite. What do you suggest for dry? May is more polite. This is very casual. And this is in between, right? For example, guys, <clears throat> if you're talking to a stranger and you want to ask them a favor, what would you say? Can you or may, may I? May I? Uh huh. For example, uh, sit here. I sit here. Okay. If it's a stranger, would I? Would you say, "Can I sit here? Could I sit here? Or may I sit here?" May I sit here? Yes. May I sit here? Because it's more polite. That is the difference. Is that clear? Yeah. Teacher. Is it clear for everyone? Yes. <clears throat> Very good. Let's see, uh, let's move on. It's a video. Let's practice, see which one we can choose, all right? Welcome, Orlando. You were the last one who joined. Welcome, <laughs> welcome. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay, it's all right. Okay. Instruction. Complete uh -huh. this conversation with the modal verbs can, could, may, have, try, suggest, or so. Suggest. 
Suggest. Right. Or should. Gabriel, what's going on there? <laughs> Are there people fighting or what? <laughs> it's very noisy. All right. Number one, uh, Jackie. We're going to say can, could, may have, try, suggest, or should. Yeah, difficult. Uh, can, can I help you? Can I help no, you? may I help you? Yes, that's better because you usually, when you're working, right, and you approach a person, it's usually a stranger. So you say, may I help you? Yes. All right. Letter B. Leo. Wait, wait a minute. Sure. Um, I have something for each. Wait a minute. What what's mean each? Ah, each. Look at this, Leo. Like when you're like ah, like or 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 this is itching, so you ah okay scratch it. Itchy uh, eyes. Yes. Okay. Could could I have something for each eyes? Could I have something for itchy eyes? Okay. You know what? It could also be can I have? So we don't know. We're gonna try it, all right? Could I have something for itchy eyes? Very good, Miguel Campos. Continue. Gabriel Merino. Good as so yes. Sorry. So I so yes. Sure, I suggest. Uh, uh, I want to do it. Yes, yes. Okay, let's try suggest. I'm not sure so yes. if it could work. All right. Number two, Carlos Morales. Uh, what do you suggest? Suggest. For some muscles. For some muscles. <laughs> no, I think this is incorrect. I think it is for sore muscles. What's the meaning of sore muscles, guys? And dolor de músculos? Yes, músculos adoloridos. What do you suggest? Okay, let's continue. Uh, next one. Jackie. Uh, sorry, teacher, what number? Okay. Uh, you should try this ointment. It's excellent. Great. Should. 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 Okay. Next one, Sergio. Please. Uh, what is the what is the word here? Can I have a box of bandage, please? Of bandage, uh -huh. bandages, please can. Very good. Next, Gabriel Alvarado. What do you have for insomnia? And what do you have for insomnia? Hmm? Yes. Finally, Orlando. And I have some of this herbal tea. Some of this herbal tea is very relaxing. So maybe. Right. Try. Try some. Try. Let's take with try. Time for the truth. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, everything is great. All right, awesome. I thought we were gonna have yeah. six. Good job, good job, everyone. Easy. Easy peasy. Okay, excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Uh, read the objective, please. Let me see who's gonna read. Mm -mm. Sergio, read the objective. 
Registration participant will develop listening skill for a specific information. Very good. Okay, we're gonna do the listening and then answer the questions. Okay, let's listen. Everybody mute your microphone, please. Okay. Listen to four people talk to a pharmacist. Check each person's problem. One. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like something for my feet. I went on a long hike yesterday and my feet are really sore. I see. Why don't you try some of this ointment? You can put it on at night. It's very good for sore feet. I use it myself, actually. Two. Excuse me, I'm looking for something for a stomach ache. I see. How long have you had this problem? For a few days, and it's getting worse. I'll give you some pills to take for a few days. They should help. Take two of these three times a day with meals. Three. Can I help you? Yes. I just came back from London on a long flight, and I'm having trouble sleeping. We have several things for that, including sleeping pills. But I suggest you try some of this herbal tea. It's very good for jet lag. Drink some before you go to bed at night. Thanks. I'll try it. I don't like taking sleeping pills. Four. Good morning. What can I do for you? Um... I need something for a burn. I burned my hand a little when I was cooking last night. Look here. Oh, yes. I'll give you some cream for it. After you put on the cream, place a bandage over it for a few days. You should be fine. Thanks. Okay. Did you get the answers? Or you want to listen to it no. one more time? Yeah. Number one, the woman uh, demands fit or so. Why are there are they sore? Do you remember? Uh, no, I don't remember. Because he went on a long hike. Um, I guess. <laughs> Number two is two. The woman has an upset stomach. Upset stomach. 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 An upset stomach. Very good. Stomach. Uh, Leo, number stomach. three. No, 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 stomach. No, stomach. Uh, the man has difficulty sleeping. Yeah. Very good. And number four, Carlos. Uh, the woman burned her hat. Ah, the woman burned her, her hand. Her hand. Let's her see hand. if this is right. And yay, everything is good. Okay, awesome. Excellent. Move on. We need some speaking see. practice tonight. We're going to get there in a second. Yeah, with this conversation. Read the objective, please. Let me see who's going to read this time. Na -na -na -na. Jackie. Okay. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people deciding where to go for dinner. Words such as so, to, neither, and either will be introduced. Very good. Let's watch. Everybody pay attention, please. So we're going to practice this in a second. Hi, welcome to another section. This time we will teach you words of agreements. Please copy the following words in your notes. So, to, neither, either. Listen and practice. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. We're
Well, I hope. Okay, are there any new words here on this dialogue? New words. No, no new words. There's trouble with the connection. No, I think I was not sharing. Okay, let's listen to it one more time. Yeah, I think I did something wrong. Hold on. Hmm. Yeah. Either. Can you hear now? Listen and practice. Yeah. Listen and practice. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. Hmm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Aroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Terrific, let's go. A lot. I do. Okay. Now you can see uh, the dialogue. Any new words, new vocabulary? <clears throat> no? Uh, move, move for it today. Uh, okay, what does it say? Where is it? Logo. La, 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 la. Sure, I love, it. I love it. Okay, yes, no, it says, look, it says, I'm not really in the mood, in the mood for. So it's like you don't feel like eating that. No, no tengo gana de eso. Mm. So I'm oh. not in the mood, in the mood for, for Indian food, for whatever it is. Okay, repeat after me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, repeat after me. Two. Say, and I know. Would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Say, would you like, would you would like, you like, to, like to go, to go out to dinner tonight? tonight? Sure, where do you want to go? Sure, where do you want to go? Where do you want us to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? Well, what, what, what do you think of Indian food? food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either. I guess it's a bit spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm not either. either. It's a bit spicy. Spicy. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. Oh, I, love, I like it a lot. a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. I do, I do too. I do too. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Oh, oh I've always, always wanted, wanted to go there. To go there. Terrific. Let's go. Okay. Um, look at this. So that, that was the question, right? How do you use either and neither? I don't see neither. Neither. Can you see the other word? Tampoco. Where is it? 
I'm not either. Uh -huh. Yo tampoco. You can say it like this, okay? I'm not either, because you're using not with this, right? Either, or you can use neither, it's the same. Because this N, look at this guys, this N makes it negative. Okay, is that clear? Sort of. This is tampoco, okay? Not either or neither. This N is the negative form of it, okay? Let's practice the dialogue. There's, and you know, first time you're gonna practice it, second time you're going to modify it. So the second time, say, would you like to go out uh, for a lunch, for example, right? And you change the dish, try to use the same expressions, okay? Ready? Ready or not, here we go. Let's practice. It's practice time. Accept the invitation, okay, please. What we do now? What would you now? What uh, we do now? You're gonna practice the dialogue. Practice the dialogue, and then when you finish, you modify it. You're gonna modify it, okay? Hi. Hi. I haven't seen you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> practice the dialogue. I sent it to WhatsApp. You got it? What's okay. up? What's up? Yeah, practice the dialogue and then modify it. The practice today is using the conversation. Show yes. the WhatsApp. Right. Read okay. the conversation and then modify it. Uh, who is Jeff? <laughs> okay. Sergio, will you? be... Okay, uh -huh. I am Jeff. Jeff, okay. Okay, I, I start with... What do you think of Indian food? What, what, what? I can, I can hear you at the last word. I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I not either. I guess it's big spice. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Aroha. Oh, I, uh, I always want to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Okay, today modify. Okay. Say, what do you like? To go out dinner tomorrow. Uh, yes. Well, where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Mexican food? Uh, I I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for in today. Yeah, I'm not either. I guess it is very spicy. Spicy. Mm, how do you like Mexican food? Mm, 
Eh, eso fue lo que me dijo. Ajá. Eh, bueno, yo le pregunto, ¿Qué opina si te gusta? Ah, bueno, elijo otro. Sí. Sí, verdad. Ah, ok. How do you like pizza? Oh, I like it a lot. Uh, I do too. Uh, I know I miss a pizza restaurant new here. It's called Pizza Hub. Oh, I always want to go there. Terrific, magnific. Who are you? General. Okay. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but try to, I know. Try to modify the dialogue too. What do you think about Mexican food, for example? And change some details, right? Would you like to go out for lunch? What Sorry. I don't Here we are, we're back. Did you practice? Yes. Yes, did you? More or less. More or less. More or less. All right, let's uh, continue. We're gonna see how to use uh, neither, either, and all of those. So read the objective. Leo, go ahead. Leo. Hola. Hi. I read the objective. In this class. Okay, okay. In this participants will will understand the use of so to, either and either. With these words, participants may express agreement and or disagreement. Okay. Let's watch. Pay attention, please. Gabriel. Yes, teacher. Everybody pay attention, please. Here we go. Hi, did you copy the agreement words? Very good. Now we'll teach you when to use each. Try to make sense of what you see on the following chart. Don't go as we'll walk you through the use of so, too, neither, either, and more examples. So, Two, neither, either. I like Japanese food a lot. So do I. I do too. Really? I don't like it very much. I'm crazy about dessert. So am I. I am too. Oh, I'm not. I can eat really spicy food. So can I. I can too. Really? I can't. I don't like greasy food. Neither do I. I don't either. Oh, I like it a lot. I'm not in the mood for Indian food. Neither am I. I'm not either. Really? I am. I can't stand fast food. Neither can I. I can't either. Oh, I love it. The use of to and so to agree with something being said to us. In English, we can use to or so in short answers to show we agree with something or someone. Notice we use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement being said to us. For example, I am hungry. I am too. So am I. I love apple pie. I do too. So do I. I can play chess. I can too. So can I. 
The position of two is right at the end. Follow me. Subject. Auxiliary. Two. The position of so is right at the beginning. Follow me again. So. Auxiliary plus subject. Now let's study the use of neither and either. To show agreement with negative statements, we can use neither and either. We also use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement. Pay attention to the following. We use the negative auxiliary when we use either and the positive auxiliary with either. Follow the examples. I am not hungry. I am not either. Neither am I. I don't dance salsa. I don't either. Neither do I. I can't swim. I can't either. Neither can I. I'll leave you with the formula so you understand it better. Subject plus negative auxiliary plus either. Notice either goes at the end. Neither plus positive auxiliary plus subject. Notice neither goes at the beginning. Please agree with me in the following statements. Write your responses on our discussion box. I like ice cream. I am happy. I love pizza. I can't swim. I don't like French. So can I. Okay, we're gonna stop here a little bit because this might be confusing. I'll try to explain it, and as, as always, we're gonna practice and speak using it, okay? So, first of all, let's review the vocabulary. Say with me, healthy. Healthy. Greasy. Healthy. Greasy. 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 Salty. 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 Okay. Rich. 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 Spicy. 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 Delicious. 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 Bland. Delicious. Bland. 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 Very good. Okay. Bland. Uh, what's the meaning of bland, guys? Pastas? No. <laughs> it could be, but no, it's not. It's not. <laughs> Comida <laughs> blanda. <laughs> Comida blanda. Sorry. No, it's not that. <laughs> Bland is, is um without flavor. For example, hold on. How do you call this thing? Oh my gosh! You know when you eat uh, nuegados, you what do you drink? With nuegados. Oh, typical food? No. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. But I'm asking you a, a question about a drink, okay? What do you drink when you eat nuegados and it's very sweet? And you drink? Chilate. 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 That's the word. Okay, you know what? Chilate is bland. Um, what does it mean? Simple. Simple. No, simple. Sin sabor, así, okay. It's not salty, it's not mm -hmm. sweet. It's bland. Okay. Yeah, no flavor, okay? Supposedly. Chidate okay. is horrible. <laughs> By the way, okay. I like. <laughs> like it. I don't yes. like it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like that was. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, to be hungry. Yeah, you made me hungry too. <laughs> All right. We're going to start with, with so do I in. I do too. We're going to go one by one. So do I or I do too. Let's see if that's what, what it says. So do I, I do too. Okay, look guys, this you're gonna use with present simple, all right? Very simple present, both are okay. So let's say, um, any sentence. Tell me something you like. 
I like I what? like cooking. You like cooking, okay? Yeah. Who else likes cooking? Raise your hand. <laughs> Me too. How do I? Uh huh. So Katia says, uh, no, yeah, Jackie says, so do I. And um, Gabriel says, so do I. Very good. Why? Because this is present simple. So you use do. So do I or I do too. Okay. Now tell me an ability, Orlando. I can what? I can play basketball. You can play basketball. Is that real? Yeah. Yeah. Basketball. Okay, who else? Sergio, can you play basketball? I do too. I do too. I do too. I do too. No, so in do this I. Case, no, 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 no. In this case, it's not do. Because the auxiliary is can. Yes, I can play basketball. You're going to say, so I can. Can I? Or I can. I can too. I can too. Yes. Oh, yes. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> don't, don't be sorry. Oh. All right. Very good. One more. One more. One more. Oh, you can swim me? Sorry? I can swim me? Oh my gosh. I closed it. I closed everything. I can swim. My oh. phone is not working. I don't know why. So I have to use you. Okay, what's the next one, guys? Help me, girls. I got lost right now. Okay, I'm going to give you a tip, all right? This is a tip, so this is not difficult. Think of the question, okay? So, when I say I like cooking, what is the question, guys? You, you play, you... You do you like salsa? cooking? Do you uh -huh. like cooking? Do you like cooking? What's the auxiliary? Uh -huh. Do you like cooking? So that's the one you're gonna use. Do okay. When you say I can play, what is the question? Can I play basketball? Can you play? Right? Can you play? Yes. Yeah, so basketball? we're gonna. Can you play basketball? I'm gonna use can. Okay. Can so simply can think of the question of the auxiliary in the question, the first auxiliary, can. and you know what to use. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, let's continue. Some more examples before we practice. Help me, what's the next one, guys? Uh-huh, next one. Hi, did you copy the agreement words? Very good. Now we'll teach you when to use each. Neither. Uh Here it is. Okay, with the verb be. So guys, look. With, with the microphone. I am happy. What's the question? Am I I'm happy, happy, right? So you would answer and say, so am I, or I am, comma, two. I am two. Is that clear? Okay. Where did it go? I am happy. So am I or I am too. Very good. Now, let's practice this. Okay, we're going to practice the three of them with do, with am, or the verb be. This is the verb be. And with can, all right? So I want you to say two things you like, all right? Uh, I want you to say the way you feel are, okay? And two things you can do. Other person will say, so am I, so can I, or so do I. Is that clear or it's not? I think we should 
We're going to look at the negative form just in case. Okay, the negative form, you're simply going to change the auxiliary, all right? For example, let's put this in the negative form. The first one, I like cooking. What's the negative form, guys? I don't like cooking. I don't, I don't like cooking. Okay. I don't like cooking. I don't like cooking. So, what are we going to say here? Instead of so, we're going to say neither. Neither do I. Neither do I. Neither do I. Neither do I. It's exactly the same, but instead of so, we say neither because that's a negative one. In here, you should say I don't either. I don't, don't. either. Very good. Instead of two. All right. Negative form of I can play. I can't, I can't play, play, play basketball. I can't play. Okay, so what is the negative answer? Neither can, neither, neither I. can I. Neither can I or I. Oh, I can't can. either. I can't can either. either. Awesome. Yeah. You're doing yeah. great. Okay, I am happy. I'm going to say I am not sad. I all right. Am not sad. I am not sad. Okay, what am I going to say here? Neither. Neither. Neither am I. Neither am I or. Or I am either. I am I not either. I'm not either. Very good. And I think that's it, right? Mm -hmm. Let's do one more example for each one of them. Affirmative. I will say, for example, I, I play, I play tennis. Affirmative. Quickly, guys, think quickly. Affirmative. I play tennis. What do you say? So, so, uh huh. So do I. Can I play tennis? So, so, do I so play can play I? So do I. So do I. So do I. Uh, so do I. So do I. Yes, because it is. Do you play tennis? Right. It is present simple. Or so do I. Or I, I do too. Do. I do too. Very good. Now I'm going to say, I cannot sing. Can you sing? sing. No. <laughs> no? Who can sing here? So, neither, 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 neither can. Neither can I. Neither uh, yes, can I. <laughs> neither can I. Very good. Or, or I, I can't I, I either. Can either. I can't either. Awesome. You're doing great. I can't either. All right, now we're gonna do one with um oh, with the verb B. Okay. I am a student. What are you gonna say? I am a uh, student, and you're like, oh, me too. No, instead of saying me too, right? Because that's what you always say. Try to use this sentence, this this structure. I'm a student. Oh, what? <laughs> So, neither am I. So, this so, affirmative. So, so, so am I. I'm, so am I. I. Okay, I'm a student. Oh, so am I. Where do you study? At the English Corporativo, me too. So do I. Okay. So <laughs> am I. <laughs> so am I. Or, I'm, I'm, I'm I too. I am too. I am too. I am too. too. Very good. Oh, yeah, that's a good dialogue. Oh, so am I. I study at Inter Corporativo. Oh, so do I. Okay, you see, you have a dialogue now. Okay. All right, negative. Two more examples and we finish. Tomorrow we're going to practice writing and speaking using this structure. I know it is confusing, but you know, practice makes perfect, right? Very good, negative form. I don't live in eh, La Paz. Anybody lives in La Paz? No. 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 I don't live in La Paz. And you you say? 
Neither, neither do I neither, 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 I live. neither do neither. I or oh I don't, I don't either. Either. I don't either. Okay, so react, okay? I don't live in La Paz. You say neither, neither do I, I or I don't, don't either. Uh -huh, I don't very either. good. I don't like bad soup. You know what, is, right? what is the bad soup t-shirt? What's the meeting? Bad soup? <coughs> Sopa de murciélago. <laughs> I don't oh, like Wow, <laughs> no, no, Oh no. my I God, t-shirt. <laughs> I don't yeah. like bad soup. Neither do I. Neither, neither do I. Okay, you. Do I, right. Neither do I. I don't either. I don't, I don't either. either. I don't either. Okay, very good. And, and one more. I can't speak German. Can you speak German, guys? No. Neither can I. Maybe uh, my neither. dreams. <laughs> In your dreams. Hi. <laughs> say it again. Neither do I, teacher. Uh -huh. No, neither can I. We say, can can I? I. I. Neither can oh, I. yes. Neither can I. Oh, I can't I can either. either. I can't either. either. Very good. Say it. Uh, or la, no, who was it? Gabriel. What did you say? Say the word in German. What? What did you say in German? What say in German? Yeah, you said something in German, didn't you? No, <laughs> her <laughs> What is that? <laughs> Fury. Like, uh, sur corazón de cielo. All right. <laughs> no idea. I didn't understand. <laughs> All right, guys. Any questions? Tomorrow we're going to practice. So many questions. <laughs> so many questions. I know. I know. It's understandable. <laughs> totally understandable. But tomorrow Good we'll time. practice. Sergio, be in class tomorrow, okay? Then Gabriel, okay. Miguel. Okay. Jackie, everybody. In yes, Orlando. teacher. Ricardo. Always teacher. Always in the class. Teacher. I am representing the girls, teacher. <laughs> yes, that is right. Hey, yeah, right. And Eunice, too. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. I can hear Eunice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only ladies. Okay, tomorrow, have a beautiful teacher. night. See you tomorrow. Okay. You too. Okay. Good night, Bye, everybody. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night.